Hello everyone, my name is Timothy Lee Grant. Today is May 25th, 2024. And a lot of people have been asking me how to successfully transition from your software engineering internship over to an, the actual software engineering job. Now, I don't know if I'm the perfect person to ask because, well, I've done it once, but I don't really know exactly why but I can reflect on my experiences and maybe give you guys some ideas as to why I think I was converted over from my internship into an actual software engineering position. So I'll do my best, uh, take whatever I say with a grain of salt. I'm just trying to provide some ideas and feedback and just think about, okay, well, what might have been the contributing factors to this? Now, the first one that people might say just off the hand, skills right like you got hired because you had really good software engineering skills you were a really good engineer you really like bam hit your projects i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so at all and i have very good evidence to justify this now obviously i wish i could just say yes it was skills that's why that's why i got hired i'm just such a great engineer right like i wish i could say that but just looking at the data objectively i don't think that that's what was going on why because i had not even turned in my final project at that point i'm actually still working on it right now even so i got my internship and i did a whole bunch of different tasks and in a later video I'll, in some other video in the future i'm going to be talking about exactly what i did when i was in my internship but during my internship i did a lot of like documentation of software which didn't have documentation and then they had me on a project relating to building a GUI for production so I started working on this GUI and it wasn't I was working 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 multiple weeks multiple weeks right and by the time that my internship ended I hadn't finished the project so it's a long project right I had to take it from conception all the way to implementation and putting it into production, making sure that I talk with all of the stakeholders and figure out if they like it, revise it, then do continuing maintenance on it, etc. Right. So I'm still in that process. I'm in the right now. I'm in the process of actually releasing it to production. But previously, when I was transferred over, I wasn't done with it. It wasn't a finished product. So how could they even judge like if I was a good software engineer or not? I don't think that they could have. Okay, so then why? And looking at my experience, I think that the reason why I was able, they actually did extend an offer to me, is because I was just extremely happy, positive, and I fit what they wanted in a worker, right? I think that it was actually just my attitude, right? I would show up each day and they saw that I was hardworking. They saw that I had a drive to actually learn, to improve myself, to move forward. They saw that even though maybe I didn't understand embedded systems very much and I don't know if I understand embedded systems very well even right now. But they saw that I was really looking at it, really trying to understand it, and really trying to move forward. I was interested in it. And I also fit the company culture. And I've talked about this in previous videos. I used to dramatically underplay the importance of those soft skills. And one of those soft skills is just how you interact with people, right? Are you uplifting or are you downgrading are you part of building a positive culture within your team or are you part of complaining talking bad uh, just getting people depressed right how do you fit within the company culture so they i think that they saw me they saw that i had a positive attitude they saw that i was hardworking. They saw that I was willing to learn, even if I didn't understand all of the concepts. I was doing research. I was looking into it. I was curious about things. I was asking a whole bunch of different questions, right? And especially in my position, so I'm software, but I'm in the hardware department. So I was asking the electrical engineers all of these questions, which I didn't know about regarding electrical engineering. So I was asking like, okay, well, 
how does how do all of these electrical components actually flow together so that I can see from my microcontroller when it's interacting with the hardware what's it actually doing right so I was able to show that I actually had that curiosity and that I was trying so they saw that then they saw that I was part of the culture that I was building people up or at least I would hope that I was building people up, right? That I was trying to build people up, that I was trying to be positive. And so then I think that's why they were willing to extend an offer to me because they said, okay, well, he is, if we extend an offer, he is going to continue to learn. He's con to continue to grow as an engineer. He's going to continue to learn whatever processes we need, right? If we need a Python programmer, he was willing to take up that, that task and go for it do a GUI. If we need C, embedded C, he was able to do that. He was uh, willing to go learn that, do the embedded system stuff. If we need him to do some of the electronic stuff, right? Like they saw that I was willing to go and just learn whatever I needed to do. So I think that's what really gave them comfortable, uh, a comfortable feeling give, extending an internship to me or a, uh, full-time position to me and to be just completely honest I was surprised that they did right because when I went into the internship I did not feel like I understood what I needed to I felt completely incompetent I felt like I didn't understand embedded systems I thought I wasn't doing a good job I was really down on myself I was very much worried here I was I I had six months that I was sending out applications every single day. I have a, I had a high GPA. I was, uh, right, like I I was I sent out over a thousand applications. I got nothing, 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 just over and over and over, just rejection, rejection, rejection. And then this company finally gave me an opportunity, and I was trying to seize this chance, seize this opportunity. And then when I got there, I, it was just, it was extremely difficult. I felt like I was going to lose this opportunity. I, I was really just like, oh, no, like I studied so hard. I was, I really wanted to, to, to do this. Right. But I just thought I, I'm maybe I'm not smart enough. I thought I was. I had all of those those kind of thoughts and I was just saying like I my skills aren't good enough. I don't think there's no way that they're actually going to give me a full-time position. Um and for a while I actually did get a little bit down on myself and I was just like, man, I I'm there's no way I'm going to get a position. There's none. But then when I was in that kind of like very low point at the internship, I actually changed my mindset. And what I said was, okay, I'm not going to be able to get converted, The right? Like my skills do not justify it. There's no way that they're going to actually extend an intern or a full-time position to me. So I said, all right, well, here's the thing. I'm here. I'm at a company, right? I'm getting industry experience, even if I don't get converted to a full-time engineer, I'm going to take every single day as an absolute opportunity to learn as much as I can. At the end of this internship, I really hope that I can am in a position that maybe I can get an internship somewhere else. Maybe I can get enough skills to just squeak by and get another internship. I was just like, I hope, hopefully I can get as much experience as I can I can put it on my resume so that it's a little bit impressive so that I can get another internship after and it's not going to be as like horrible trying to find another internship like not six months and a thousand applications later so that's kind of how I changed my mindset was just like I I didn't think I was going to get a position at all and so I changed and said, well, okay, I'm not going to get it, but I do have this opportunity. I do have an opportunity where I am getting wonderful experience. Let me take advantage of it. And so I started coming to work every day and 
I would write down, because that's my study method, is I do a lot of writing and I explain stuff to myself, right? Doing that. So I would be writing to myself saying, okay, well, which skills am I learning right now? And how do I optimize that? So I would say, okay, well, right now I'm doing embedded systems and I'm learning about uh, this particular component, right? I, here my microcontroller is, it's communicating to this electrical component. And so I'd just say like, okay, well, right now I'm learning the skills of embedded systems. I'm learning C, I'm learning low level, I'm learning electrical uh, I2C communication. I'm, that's uh, different than like one wire interface or something like this. And so I would start to just like really focus on like what skills I'm learning. And ironically, this is actually the exact a attitude that you're supposed to have during an internship, right? Like you're supposed to be just focused on learning as much as you can. And I think the companies are not, first off, it's something that is very much different than what I expected, right? Companies are not there to hurt you. They're not there to like find reasons why they want to fire you. It's actually very much the opposite. They want to help you. They want to to build you, right? Like this is in their interest for you to be successful. So they're not there to hurt you. They're there to help you. So if you have this attitude that you want to seize the day, right? Seize the day. What was it? Capum diem or something like that? Seize the day. You even if you don't get the intern or get the position at the end. You, well, you have it right now. You ha you have an opportunity today to learn all of these skills. Take it, take it. It's it's such a wonderful opportunity. Whatever you're learning, just learn it to the to the highest degree that you can. And I think if you do that consistently every single day, this is going to build the exact path towards becoming successful within software engineering. So that's at least my experience. That's the way I did it. I didn't think that I was going to get hired. And even though I started that method, I didn't even finish my project yet. Cause it's still like, I would say, here's my internship. I was doing documentation here to maybe here, right? And then from here to now is doing the uh, GUI uh, project, right? So I hadn't even finished my project. So it, it wasn't based off of skill. It wasn't like, oh, they, they, they just think that I'm such an amazing engineer. No, not at all. It was, in my opinion, it was because of my attitude, because I was trying to be positive. And that's the other thing that I really tried to change, right? When I was at that low point, I was like, you know, I really need to be more positive. I need to try to, even if I'm not feeling good, why do I need to bring that to work, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. Let me try, just exude positivity. And e even if I don't feel it myself, let me exude it, right? And let me just try to be as positive as I can. So those are some of my suggestions. Uh, once you get an internship, how to move forward and actually transition from intern to full-time position, get that offer. Uh, and even if you don't actually get the offer, by doing those suggestions, you're gonna set yourself up for success anyways, right? You're gonna have those things on your resume that make it look significantly more impressive. You're going to be able to talk about it, right? Because when you're doing your interviews, they're gonna be asking you about all of these different things. And if you don't have a convincing answer, if you're just, uh, well, I kind of did a little bit of this and that, that's not very interesting, right? They're not gonna be very impressed with that. But if you're able to really talk about it, really say in depth, like what you did, that's gonna bode much better for you when you're doing future internships. Um, one more thing that I think that would be very helpful is also just those interpersonal connections, right? Like be friends with your managers, be friends with your coworkers. That goes back to the thing like, are you part of the community there? Right? Do they see you as someone who they can have in their team? Right? Or do you get along with the members of your group? Right? Make friends with them. 
not just be positive, but make friends with them. Try to talk about what they're interested in, right? Like there's a lot of conversations. I'll, I'll be talking with my coworkers. I'm not particularly interested. Like one of my coworkers li really likes cars, right? I'm not particularly interested in cars, but he is wonderful, right? Like I'm okay. If he's interested in it, I'm going to be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll talk with you about it. Another one was interested in, in like fishing and his boat. Again, I'm not very interested in fishing or boats, but cool. I'm glad that he likes it. I'll, I'll talk with him about it. I'll watch his like videos on, uh, that he took when he was uh, going down the river on, on a boat, right? Like that's cool. Awesome. Right? Like try to make friends with people, try to just be positive, do those, uh, inner, personal skills I, i'm not saying like be fake or anything right like I, I didn't go and tell him like oh yeah i just love fishing no no, no. i'm like my, my honest feeling is i'm glad that he enjoys it I, I like that i love it when people have passion are interested in something and i i would like to learn about what they're passionate about right like if someone's passionate about something wonderful i will i want to learn why are you passionate about it? What makes you interested in it? That's that's a very interesting question, right? And so I, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy talking to people about what they're passionate about. I enjoy making friends with people. And if the company can see that you are part of, that you fit well with the team, that you make friends with the team, I think that that's going to be extremely helpful for you when the decision comes do we extend them an offer or do we not okay so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video um if you want to see more videos uh, i will be making those in the future just let me know what you what kind of videos you want to see um just yeah you ask me questions um i don't know if i'll know the all of the answers but i will do my best and hopefully I can bring some interesting perspectives or ideas and get, give them to you. Yeah. Um, so anyways, have a wonderful day and I will see you later.